Welcome to Kruma Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, Mintech reveals new tailings retreatment process, and South Africa must wake up to fuel cell race or risk losing out. State-owned research organization Mintech recently demonstrated its reflood tailings retreatment process at gold miner Goldfield South Deep Mine in Johannesburg. Uh, the plant is called uh, Refloat. So basically it's retreatment flow sheet for gold and uranium tailings. Uh, what we're doing is we're taking the material from South Deep's tailing dumps and we're processing it through a uh, flotation circuit. We're producing a sulfide concentrate and a uranium concentrate. So we're removing your sulfide, your acid uh, mine uh, drainage for, uh, potential minerals and your uranium minerals which is radioactive as well at the same time we're taking out the gold and the resulting tailing that we get from that is then safe for redisposal. Uh, at the moment it's just a demonstration size so we're currently feeding at 200 kgs an hour but I mean you can uh, uh, scale it up to a much bigger unit that would be required. South Africa is in a global race in fuel cell development and should not consider itself special as there are a number of other countries that could reap benefits from their fuel cell plants far sooner, an analyst warned. So the, as the fuel cell industry gets more and more competitive, more and more countries are saying we want those high value job creation in our country and we want to either adopt fuel cells or export fuel cells. So even if you do like a back of the beer mat calculation, you've got about 20 different regions, about eight different countries, all now competing for manufacturing capability. Right? And it is a race. Everywhere cannot win. So countries like the US, which have been a lead um, in manufacturing for a very, very long time, have actually gone through this learning curve already and are now able to leverage the understanding and manufacture at volume. And where South Africa is, is you've been talking about it a long time, but we don't see manufacturing here. And so you've got to climb that learning curve very quickly to get your place at the table. It's not impossible. It's not impossible by a long way, but it's going to be a lot of very, very hard graft. And at the minute, what we're seeing is too, much dis too many disparate groups. You need to get together the government and the platinum industry to work together on this to do it. It is possible, but you're competing against China increasingly, right? Uh, China, India, USA, Germany, um, and a lot of other countries. India, they're coming to the table. A lot of other countries want this. So you can talk as much as you want, but it's only action that's going to change it. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.